Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be on creative destruction. Basically, um, there's been a lot of talk that the developers are going to be fixing um, the game hugely this Thursday. So we're going to check it out in the video. There's some patch notes out and some extra things I want to talk about. Looks like the game is, I don't know, it's kind of going to be make or break this Thursday in my opinion. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, whack a thumbs up on the video and uh, let's get into it. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though When it's over, I press rewind, though Talking bands, I got it Benjamins in my pocket so here we go guys, welcome back to another uh, update video. So basically I'm going to start off by uh, reading through the patch notes, uh, seeing exactly what the new update is coming this Thursday in Creative Destruction. Um, in my opinion, if this update isn't as good as the developers are making out to be, I'm probably going to be moving on to uh, the game Cyber Hunter because... Um, yeah, I've just, I've just had enough of the, the frame drops and the, the lag and everything that's going bad about the game at the moment. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, this update is going to be good. So let's have a little read through. Um, so basically, number one, they've improved the game's frame rate by optimizing certain script execution mechanisms. These optimizations have been implemented consecutively in the recent week's updates. Please feel free to send us feedback on how this affected in your game your in-game experience, continually optimizing the performance and stability of the game. Is one of the most important goals so as you see there guys um the developers are taking everything into consideration now the biggest problem in cd at the moment is the lag and the fps drops i get it the same guys i'm using a uh a samsung galaxy tab s4 one of the best gaming tablets around at the moment if not the best and i'm getting less than 30 fps and this game should easily be a above 60 fps game so that's the main thing they want to work on at the moment is the smoothness of the game because it is just not smooth. It's just laggy, it's choppy, you get killed from desync behind walls. I know that's mainly to do with the server, but yeah, I just think the FPS, once the FPS is improved and it's above 60, it's going to be 10 times better. Uh, and a lot of you guys are going to be playing it more. So hopefully this Thursday, they're going to listen to us and they're going to make sure that it is absolutely perfect. Um, so a lot of you guys complained about some of the weapons and the uh, the adjustments and stuff in the game. So number two, throwable adjustments. They've lowered the drops and carry caps of all throwables. So um, as you know, guys, I think it was like season four. They increased the grenades to ten instead of five. So they're reducing it back down to five because obviously, I mean, I'm, I've been one to do it as well before. I've I've had in my slot about sixty grenades that I can just launch. Grenade after grenade after grenade, and it is impossible to build out of it. The only way you can get out of grenade spam is by using a springboard or an egg seat to get out of it. So I've been in that situation as well. I know probably a lot of you guys have been in that situation where you just get grenades thrown at you, thrown at you, thrown at you. You don't even know what's happening. So you, you can't even build because they're blowing up so quickly. Um, so they've capped the throwables at five grenades. Um, so you're going to be able to have five grenades in your slot, which is perfect. So that takes up a whole slot. So... Um, yeah, next uh, they've they've slightly balanced the damage dealt to characters and buildings. So yeah, they've basically, as as you know, guys, the grenades do just blow up buildings like it's nothing. Um, so they've they've balanced that, so which is good. So they are listening to us in that sense. The bowling one is reduced damage dealt by the bowling bomb. I don't think a lot of people use the bowling bomb anyway. It's mainly the normal hand grenades and the Molotov grenades that are really powerful. Um, Thirdly, the flamethrower adjustments. A lot of you guys complain about the flamethrower. Now, I'm again one to do this as well. The best thing I've shown in a previous video is to use an energy device and a flamethrower. And it is virtually impossible to kill you. It is literally, you can just jump around them, around them, and you can flame them while you're jumping around them. So what they need to do to the flamethrower is they need to reduce the damage hugely instead of 15 per hit, what it is at the moment. They need to make it 5 or less per hit. And they need to not make it so the flame damage is as long over time. Like you get flame damage for say 3 seconds after. And that flame damage maybe does 1 per hit. That's just my opinion. They need to decrease the range of it as well. They also need to make it so it doesn't shoot through buildings. Because um, that is broken. That shouldn't happen. You shouldn't be able to flame someone through their building. 
Um, they've reduced the spawn rate of the legendary quality flamethrowers, which you didn't really find that many anyway, so that's not a huge um, update. They've tempor temporarily removed the gadget energy device, so... <laughs> Woo! They've finally done it. Um, the energy device is just a broken thing. I don't know why they implemented it into the game. It was mainly because of the, um, the sort of Bumblebee thing. It was all sparked up from that event. But yeah, the energy device is just broken. It shouldn't. That shouldn't be a thing in the game. There should be. What they should have done is they should have co what well, not copied Fortnite in a way, but they should have made something where you can find an energy device on the floor in random spots and you can use it for like less than uh, 15 seconds so i think it lasts for about 15 to 20 seconds so they should have made it like the purple crystals in fortnite in one of the old updates they should have um they should make it so that they're, they're like i don't know next to like one of the petrol stations or something you can just like pick it up you can get it for like five seconds or ten seconds or ten seconds and then that's it and then it's gone so the energy device is gone guys so let me know in the comments what you think about that um, they've adjusted how bandages are used. Explorers can now continuously use bandages while running. I suppose that's a good thing because that's that's what you would do in real life anyway. Um, so they've made that more realistic. They fixed a problem where the destructor dismantling frequency exceeded set limitations in specific situations. I don't know what they mean by that. They fixed a problem where destructor dismantling frequency exceeded... Don't know what they mean by that, but I, I'm guessing that's a good thing. Um, let me know what you think about that, guys. I haven't got a clue what that means. Um, they fixed a the problem where you would be seen as standing by other explorers after sitting and getting up on the ejection seat multiple times. So that's basically the hack that was going around, where you would sit on the ejection seat loads, and then basically um, you wouldn't have foot, you wouldn't take fall damage. So they kind of fixed that as well. Um, of course, they need to bring out new skins every single week to make money. Um, an all new hip hop pack is now available in the store standard um the all new monthly sale is here this time it's the punky piggy sue i mean no one i mean I've, I've already said it to them guys i've already said to the developers you need to stop making skins for a while or you need to make skins like every couple of weeks just to i mean the more skins you i'm lost in how many skins there are i'm literally lost i mean i even had a developer agree with me that there's too many skins because you they bring out skins every single week i know they've got to make money but at least bring them out every sort of two weeks or every three weeks. There's there's no need to bring out skins that often because I'm I'm still thinking about the skin that came out last week. It was some sort of Zeus skin, and now there's like a pig skin coming out this week. Like it makes no sense. They need to calm down on the skin bringing in the game. There's just there's just way too many skins, way too many. They're bringing out new ones each week. They need to yeah, they need to sort of either decrease the amount of the skins paid for that, that you can buy at the moment or just stop skins altogether just for now while the updates are coming out that's what they need to focus on i know there's like two different departments there's the skins department and the development department but that's just what i think anyway there's just too many skins coming out it's, it's putting people off the game massively that's why people are leaving the game um the skateboard control adjustments they've increased the speed and control flexibility of the skateboards on slopes They've increased the jump speed and height of the skateboards and extended their gliding distance on flat terrain. So that's pretty good because um, the skateboard wasn't that good at the moment. A lot of people went off it straight away after like the first week. They used it, for, well I used it for like games and stuff like that but then I, I hardly use it. Um, again I do use it going down slope so that is good that they are increasing the sort of control flexibility because it is a bit sort of statuary. Um, so yeah, team mode is now available. All players are divided into two groups. The first to get 80 kills wins. So that's pretty good. I think it's like a 10 minute timer. Um, and you have to get as many kills as possible. It's like a big team battle. But the first time I played that, the as you know, uh, the main thing in this game, guys, is, is the FPS. Is when you're, I mean, when you're far away from someone, say if you're here and you're far away on the other side of the map, it's smooth as hell. There's no FPS. You get 60 FPS plus. As soon as you start getting closer to an enemy, it's literally an indicator to show that you're close to an enemy when it starts lagging. And I know it's like between sort of server frequencies and stuff, so you need to like, they need to fix that. It's when you get close to an enemy, because that's when you mainly need FPS, is when you're in a fight close to an enemy. You need your FPS to be it smooth and to be able to defeat an enemy, so... That's what they need to do. They need to increase the FPS when you get close to enemies. And in team battle, you got to think there's 40 people, 80 people in the same terrain. I literally was getting one FPS when I played team mode last time. So they, they just need to work on that. That's the only thing that's going to save the game. That's going to get people to play it again. 
Stop bringing out skins. Make um, make it so the FPS is 10 times better. And just fix the game. That's it. That, 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 I mean, I say now it's probably too little too late. Because a lot of people have already left. As you know, Cyber Hunter's out now. So there's a lot of hype going on that. Don't know how long, long that's going to last. But yeah, you need to fix this game if you want to save your game this might be the last chance this thursday i'm not not saying that just 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 for nothing i think that's actually the last chance because i know uh i think the pc cyber hunter version is coming out towards the end of this month as well so once that comes out yeah a lot of people are going to move on to there so that's the only way to fix your game so you've got this thursday so i would i mean that's two days i know it's a lot to ask doing development in two days but that's just my opinion um to the developers so um, that's basically the update guys. I wanted to get a creative destruction video out because a lot of you guys ask me. I'm going to be doing Cyber Hunter and Creative Destruction because um, I'm loving Cyber Hunter in a moment. A lot of you guys are as well. Still going to carry on playing Creative Destruction for you guys that still play it um, and watch the streams and videos. So there you go guys. Subscribe, hit a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah boy! Yeah.